the job creating business and industrial, industrial park has begun. Over 1,600 tons of scrap metal has now been recycled from the site and master planning on the 467 acre tract has begun. We are now working together better than we ever have with local business partners including KU, the Lawrence Chamber of Commerce, and Douglas County. This collaboration of entities all focusing on business opportunity and prosperity magnifies our common efforts and enables success of projects like the Bioscience Incubator, which is now two years ahead of schedule and is ready to start the second phase of that project. As an organization, the city has and will continue to take specific steps to make it easier to do business in Lawrence. Lawrence, Kansas has been fiscally responsible and is a strong community, excellently positioned to take advantage of the continuing economic recovery. The prospect of creating more opportunities for businesses to thrive and locate in Lawrence is crucial to our continued growth and prosperity, which among many other benefits, allows us to put our resources into important social and arts programs that we value so much here in Lawrence. Another area of emphasis which holds special importance to me is the city's environmental efforts. Over the past year, we've made some progress in this area. We've reduced the city's energy use, we've added an environmental chapter to Horizon 2020, began an urban agricultural program, rolled out new hybrid buses, passed a bike and foot friendly complete streets policy, and have increased our recycling. Over the past year, I've chaired the Solid Waste Task Force and became very familiar with solid waste and recycling programs. Most importantly, I heard from hundreds of our citizens about the importance of our solid waste division and the absolute necessity to maintain our high levels of customer service while maintaining affordable rates. I'm confident that the city can create a solid waste and recycling program that is economical, <coughs> customer friendly, and safer for our workers. After noticing a lack of adequate glass recycling opportunities in Lawrence, I worked with city staff and we successfully launched a glass recycling program recently through Ripple Glass. This program has been well received by the community and in it's just its first month of operation here we've, uh, we've saved over a ton of glass per day from going into our landfill. Well driving on Lawrence's streets this past year has been a challenge uh, all with all the road work that we've done and the next year is going to be challenging as well but our community has requested better roads and so the commission has made this a priority. The good news is that data shows that our roads are improving so the end may be near. Lastly, I have continued my focus on uh, the Lawrence Public Library this past year with the support of the community and my fellow commissioners. Uh, the renovation project continues to move along. The design program is now complete and the final plans are being crafted. A local construction manager has been selected and we're going to be breaking ground this year. I look forward to the finished renovation and increased parking opportunities downtown. I cannot express the absolute appreciation I have for my family, friends, and employees who have been a wonderful support system for me as I work to fulfill my duties as mayor. Being mayor is not a Tuesday night uh, job, it's 24 hours a day and seven days a week a lot of the times. My work schedule often had to be juggled to meet city needs and my company staff fielded a lot of calls and scheduled a lot of meetings uh, and so thanks to my great staff at Cromwell Environmental, they didn't really sign up for this so I uh, appreciate that. My family didn't sign up for this either. Uh, particularly, I want to thank my wife, Hannah, and son, Alder. They've been incredibly supportive and patient as I work to passionately pursue my goals as mayor and give back to the community. Uh, thanks to Hannah and Alder for sharing so much of my time with the city. To my fellow commissioners, um, to have been selected by you, whom I have so much respect for, uh, to have served as mayor this past year is an incredible honor. Uh, I'm sincerely uh, appreciative of the experience and skills and expertise that all of you bring to all of our discussions. Without a great group of commissioners uh, who get along, uh, nothing could be accomplished. Um, we have a set of commissioners who may not agree 100% of the time, uh, but who always respect each other. And uh, there's no games, just, we're just you know, honest leaders doing their best for the community. I'm genuinely very, very thankful to have been given the opportunity to know and to work with all of you. Likewise, throughout the past years and the year, uh, this last year as mayor in particular, I've grown to know and respect our city manager and city staff. 
we've got passionate, committed individuals who are working for our community. Uh, these, are, these are folks who believe strongly in public service and are dedicated to providing excellent city services that enhance the quality of our lives here in Lawrence. The city is well served by this group of professionals. In closing, I look forward to continuing my service in the Lawrence City Commission, and I look forward to the future. Thanks again for this amazing opportunity as mayor. The city is in great shape, and I am eager for the further implementation of programs and services that enhance the quality of life in our Lawrence community. Thank you all. Thank you.